Greetings! So today, I thought I would show you guys, because some people were requesting it, over on our Facebook group, that I go over my current Swarovski collection of sorts. Now, before we get into anything, I just want to point out that this is a collection that I have collected for a very long time. This is like uh, about 12 years of a collection, so you might say that um, it's actually not as big as it could be. Like, I just want to avoid implications of somebody claiming that I, like, spent a gajillion dollars getting all these crystals and, you know, at one time, and that's not true, because I absolutely refuse to pay retail price for these things. Because, like, I've been buying bits and pieces over years, and I generally only buy what I need unless something is really super shiny or really super discounted. Like, I tend to raid clearance bins whenever I have access to them, or websites that have, like, really super cheap deals, and such. And then I've got friends who give me stuff, either because, for a variety of reasons, they're not into the art anymore, or... Um, they just say, here, have this, and I'm like, okay, cool. And then, and then I get a lot from works places that I've been at, where they're like, oh, hey, you do jewelry. My grandma's cousins, uncles, nephews, brothers, sisters, little twice, twelve times removed does beating too, and they stop doing it, so here's the stuff. And I'm just like, okay. Like, it's really weird. The amount of times that I've had some people at work being like, Oh, hey, I have some beads. You want some beads? I'm like, uh, okay, I guess. Sure. Whatever. Anyway, so, this is my current collection. I'm going to go over, like, my weird bead shapes first. And Rivoli's and what have you's. And etc. So, yes, let's begin. So first off, I have this giant gemstone thing, which is very, very handy for Rivoli's, which, um, they're okay priced. They're about, if you just want to buy the little foam sheet and just the thing without, like, any sort of case, it's like eight bucks on Amazon. I can provide a link down below for where this one is, but my friend gave me this one because she wasn't using it, and I'm like, okay, sure. So... This one is what I have, and I have filled up all but three of my slots on this thing with bead shapes, weird bead shapes, then we have pendants on this side, and then we have the weird shaped cabochons, and I'll just go through them all, I guess. First up, we have my scarab beads, which I still have yet to do anything with. This was last year's Swarovski Innovations, and I've done a video on that a while ago. Most likely last year, because I think these were... No, these were summer. Never mind, so not a year ago, but pretty semi-reasonably. So I have this... Anyway, I have in Crystal AB, I have this Golden Sunshine. I have Emerald, which is really hard to see against that black. I've got Emerald. There we go. I've got Scarabaeus Green, which I'm on the fence about. I think they have the recently released 2X of that as well. Um, I have this in Amethyst. I have one little lonely one in Aquamarine. Which, you know. And three in Jet. So those are fun. Let's see, then I have these star beads. I don't remember where I got these. I think I got an assortment from a... F I think I got this one from a freebie from Art Beads, because they were like, I have some free crystals to go with your order. And I'm like, well, shit. Cool. So I've got one in Crystal Red Magma and two in... I'm gonna guess Citrine. I don't remember where I got half this shit. Yeah, so they're beads, and these shapes are kind of awkward to use, mostly because the hole is like right here and it's not through the tip like you would kind of expect, so it's a little funny to work with. I have three of these, I don't know where they came from, I think it's another one of those things that I got on Art Beads for a discounted price because I don't remember actually buying them. I have a Jet one, 
in this giant size and two ABs in crystal ABs in the smaller size. I don't, I don't know. I don't remember having any interest in this shape. Then I got these crystal hearts and fusion beads actually gave me that one as a freebie, I think. I made a pendant with one of them, I think, that I had sold to a friend. And it was one of my carnivore pendants, I think. I'll probably put a picture up here in case you guys are interested. But yes, yeah, so I have two jet hearts. I have this Baroque pendant in ruby. Which, I like the Baroque pendants, it's just I don't really have a use for them. This is probably one of the oldest things in my collection, but I have this leaf pendant that has had the literal shit beaten out of it. Because I didn't really have a nice organization system for these things until now. So yeah, I have a crystal leaf pendant, which I don't remember why I got that. I think this is avant-garde, but I have this in astral pink, I want to say? I don't know. It's not really pink, it's more copper than anything else. That I nabbed off of a pair of chopsticks that got busted up. So I'm like, alright, whatever. I don't really remember what the shape this is. Is this cosmic? I don't know. I don't know what this shape is. Then I have a heart pendant, which I had a couple of these. I was given these for free from another freebie gift. I think it was fusion beads. I don't remember. But I made a pendant, the Lantern of Love pendant with one of these. Or two of these. I can't remember. I had a couple of them. I will leave a link to that tutorial if you guys want to check that one out. And I've got two of these that I recently got from Art Beads. As a freebie gift, I don't know why, but I really like it when I get crystals for freebie gifts because, hey, that's cool. It's very chunky, very huge, and I'm kind of annoyed that I can only put one of them in one of these things. I don't know what I'm going to do with that because they're, I don't know, they're big, but I have a pair, so I can use them for earrings or something, I guess. Then these were also in the summer Swarovski Innovations. These are the seashell Nautilus pendant things. I've only got the small one. I have it in blue shadow, I think. Partially frosted. And air blue opal or white opal. I don't remember. And blush rose, which was a little unusual because I don't actually know if that's an actual color from Swarovski or not. And then also from the summer, I have like these Roto chrysolite. I don't remember what these things are, but they're basically the single celled organisms. I have one in white opal and luminous green. These, are, of course, are the smaller ones because the larger ones are really freaking expensive. But yeah. I like that one. It's iridescent and frosty at the same time. Then I have these ones, and these are from the Fall Innovations, which I'm going to go over next week because I have things to say about them. These are the Tribe Crosses. I have one in Peridot and Scarabaeus Green and Slight Siam in Sunshine, Metallic Sunshine. So I have those. Then I have this Fancy Oval in... Oh, what is that? Aquamarine and Metallic Blue. And then I have this Cross Pendant in Graphite and Silver. I don't remember the official finish for that, because... And then I have a larger cross in Light Sam and Golden Sunshine. But yeah, go over those next week, I think. Yeah, we'll go with that. Then I have a clover pendant, because I'm obsessed with these clover pendants. I have a bunch that I got from... Um, our beads because they were on clearance, and yes, this one is in fuchsia, I want to say, which I don't know why you'd want a fuchsia clover, but it's cute. And I also have this gigantic one in emerald because that was on sale, and this one doesn't fit in these things, and I was very annoyed by that. It doesn't fit. Then I have a bunch of these cord ends that I have yet to do anything with. They're just really big. I like the concept of just having a crystal as an end cone, but they're huge. Like, I have these in uh, magma, I think. I got some in moss green. And these are the smallest sizes, too. I think they have, like, longer ones that, you know, I don't have. I think this is astral pink, even though it's really not pink. 
maybe it was a copper of some form, I don't remember. And then I have, I don't know what this color is, grayish, maybe? I don't know, it's got a luster on it. I don't know what color this is. It's not black diamond, it's too brown for that, I want to say grayish. Just because. Then I have another one of these, which I also don't remember where I got this, because I didn't buy this? At all? Ever? I don't know. And then I've got three of these giant rondelle things, which I was originally going to do to get um, some sort of beaded bead project going. I got one on YouTube, and it's kind of based off of one of my pendants, the phylactery pendant, that's it. So I kind of like doing beaded beads because they're sparkly, and yeah, I just did that. So I've got three more colors for that. I've got... I don't even know what this is. Because it's not crystal. It's too brown. Maybe it's a gold... It's too light for golden shadow, though. Maybe it's silver shade. I don't know. I don't know what that is. And I also have a regular crystal, which I know I got one of these for free. Um, Probably, I think, Fusion Bees. I think it was like a winter thing, and then I also got, like, White Opal. White Opal! And onto my weird shaped cabochons and stuff like that. I have these also from the summer collection. These uh, Sea Urchin. Sea Urchin Chatons. I got a 14mm and a 10mm in Bermuda Blue, and they're really pretty. And I have an idea for a bunch of these in one pendant piece thing, but I have yet to get to that. So I gotta get more of those, maybe. Then I've got two of these jellyfish ones. I don't... I think those are the jellyfish? I don't remember. I don't remember. This one's a flat back. An absolute flat back. And then this one is a... Chaton? I don't know. I don't know what the half of this shit is. But yes, I got those Bermuda Blue and Tanzanite. And... yeah. I think I like this... this, uh, rounded end better. Because it seems like I can actually stick it in a piece. Like, the flatback is nice, but it, um, it's too thin. Very thin. Then I have a bunch of these, which I forgot what they're called. Um, they're the weird ones with the bubble inside. The Visions. These are the Vision Rivolis, I think. They're really, really thick. Like, really wide. And they have a dimple in the middle, so that you can have more of a bug-like effect on these things. So I got one, I think that's a 14mm in Antique Pink. I got another 14mm in Tanzanite. And two in Aeronite because I wanted a matched pair for some reason, because they kind of look like eyeballs, and that's really, really funny to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think these are 12s, I think. And one in uh, Aquamarine, because... Aquamarine. Yes. And then more weird shapes. I have these two cushion cut uh, squares. Cushion squares, something. And there's a cat hair. One in graphite, one in indicolite, I want to say. Yeah. We'll go with that. And one triangle. Tri... I don't know. There's a fancy name for this, but a triangle in, I think, black diamond. Which I should do something with. And these I don't have in storage right now because I'm working on them. I'm going to be making bat head earrings with these for the October tutorials. So be sure you are subscribed so you can see some fancy things going on in October because it's going to be fun. So much fun. All right, almost done in this tray. We have some really fancy flat backs. Well, that's not a flat back. That's a fancy stone from... Uh, this is from the winter fall winter innovations for this year, which again I'm going over later. This, these two are from the summer innovations. I have like the pinwheel flatback and the flame and fire opal. This one is so freaking pretty and I really want to do things with it, but in the beadwork part, I'm not sure what I would do. So yeah, I still have no idea what I'm doing with those. And then we have more of the fall innovations. I have these 8mm ovals 
which are brand new, and these are the lacquer finishes, which I have more thoughts contained. I don't know what I think about the lacquer finishes, sort of. I don't think I was very decisive on them, and I'm still not very decisive, because, yeah. Anyway, so the oval Rivolis I enjoy, because they're, you know, Rivolis, and there's something I can use. Uh, these are the 8x10, 8x6? I think they're 8x6 millimeters. Um... And then I have like 12 by somethings. I think those are 12 by 10s, 12 by 8s. I don't know. The medium sized, I have that in graphite, tanzanite, and the new oil slick color, the dark rainbow, something along those lines, something pretentious like that. But yeah. I got those, and they were a lot smaller than I thought. And I have one giant one. This one's the 14, I believe. In Crystal AB, I really like this size, and I really like the uh, crystal finish on that one. I think that's super sparkly. So I really want to get more of the ovals, because I think they are very practical for designs and such. And yeah, so, uh, yeah, what else do I have? I have this factory pack of arrow beads, which I am almost relieved that I'm almost out of these. I usually give them away to my friends and say, hey, what can I do with this? Um, a friend of mine gave me these because she wanted me to do something for one of her costumes, and for some reason, it was cheaper to get a factory pack instead of exactly what she needed, which is kind of obnoxious, but yeah, those were in Golden Shadow, I want to say. Um, uh, arrow, yeah, golden shadow. So, yeah, I still have about 12 of those, I think, I didn't count. And then I have Rivoli's and Chatons in a variety of sizes. Let's go with the small one and put it back. I have a Tangerine in SS47, which I am really not familiar with their naming scheme versus sizes. I think this is a 10 millimeter. It kind of looks almost like a 12, but yeah, that's an SS-47 in Tangerine. Tangerine is very pretty. I have a couple of empty ones because I wanted to get the finishes again, because this is an Opal Sky Blue. I used that probably on a ring somewhere, and it's very pretty, but I don't have any more of it because I used it up. I have two. These are Amethyst, not Tangerine. I have two SS39s, which is about an 8mm, 8.5, something along those lines. I don't know why they need to be this goddamn specific, but yes, Amethyst. I used that in the reversible bracelet thing. Let me find it. Or I'll just show you a picture. This bracelet, this bracelet right here, which I also have a Skillshare class on. If you want to check down the link down below, down for that, that would be cool. Let's see, what else do I have? I have an ass load of these olivine ones, which are very pretty, and a friend gave me those. And yes. Um, I also have this aftermarket coating in fall leaves, which is also what a friend gave to me. I got these SS39 in sapphire. Um... This is silk, I want to say. I got four of those. Let's see, it's another color reference for Mystic Moonlight. That's very pretty. I think I have that in a ring somewhere. These in Peridot! I bought an ass load of these, I think. Or something. Yeah, Peridot in the SS39 range. They're very pretty. Um, uh, we have these SS-47s in a galactic shimmer, which has some very nice mauve colors to it. Let's see. Aftermarket coating in Maui Lava 39SS. This is a Chaton instead of... Oh, wait, can I maybe flip it around so you can see? Oh, that's very vibrant. That is very vibrant. Holy crap. It's like a pinky green thing going on with that. Um, two emeralds, and I think the rest of these are weird shaped. Nope. Uh, but, but, light turquoise. I have two of these in light turquoise left. And then, these are chatons. I have one in 
pastel blue. I hate this thing so much. This looks so horrible. It looks plasticky and nasty, and I just meh. I have one in Indicolite, I want to say, although this one looks like it has a hell of a lot more facets. Or maybe not. Yeah. Yeah? Um, yeah, and I have one in denim blue as well. So, yay! And then I have one lone 16 millimeter, I want to say, in aquamarine. Yeah, that's aquamarine. It's not as vibrant. Yeah, aquamarine. So those are my small sizes, sort of. What is this? Then I have 18 millimeters. I have one in sapphire and one in aquamarine. That's 18 millimeters. 18 millimeters in amethyst, which is a pretty color, and ultra purple. I love the ultras. Oh my god, the ultras are so fun. Let's see. Let me show you this one. This video is going to be so fucking long. Yeah. Ooh, I love that one. I think that's all for my 18s. Oh no, wait. Ultra green. Yeah. Ultra green. ABs. Woo! In 18 millimeters, and this powder blue, which I, yeah, I'm not sure about the powders. They all look the same to me, except like the yellow one, sort of, but I'm not a big fan. Okay, so the rest of these are 12s. I got an ultra emerald. Yes, that's like a almost bluey green, which is really cool. An aftermarket coating of a 12 millimeter Montana matte, which mattes are kind of interesting. They kind of remind me of the Lunasoft ones, although I do like the Lunasoft ones, despite them being so slippery. I got a couple of emerald ones that a friend gave to me. I think this is graphite. Yeah, it's one of the graphite ones, because I was getting those. A couple of metallic blues. These are pretty spiffy and cool. And another aftermarket coating, which this one's really pretty. It's Rose Shimmer, which has kind of got like a... If you picture the Crystal AB on top... Yeah, that's what you got. Like a crystal AB on top of a light rose, almost. It's really pretty. I like that one. Um, yeah, another powder color. What color is this one? Powder blue, again? Yeah, those are 12mm powder blues. Ultra pinks, which are really freaking bright, and they blind you. Yes. Um, that new one that just came out. Fuck. Uh, da, 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 da. yellow opal. Yeah, okay. I can barely read that. Yeah, I got the yellow opal. Yeah, it's kind of an okay color to me. And then this one is just really pretty, which is Egyptian Summer. It's like a very light aeronite, but it has a bit of a pinky, shimmer, lustery thing going on on top of it. It's pretty. And lastly, for this one, I think this is a Paradise Shine, which is the greeny, purpley ish one. And for my 12s and 18s, and now I have my 14s, which I have an ass load of, because I use those the most. So what do we got here? I have four silks. So this was gotten in collab with a friend who... there was like a big Fire Mountain sale on a bunch of these, so we grabbed a bunch. So there's that one. I got four silks. I have two light siams. Three light turquoises. Four... Peridotes, and five moss greens, which one of them kind of got bunged up, and that's not cool, but what can you do? Uh, yes, and I think three sapphires, depending on what that is on the bottom. Yeah, that's three sapphires, which I'm not a big fan of the sapphire color. It's kind of meh. Um, some ultra oranges, which I used on... Well, I used the 18 millimeters on one of my pumpkin pendants, which is really fun. Yeah, I like this one. This one I have a tutorial on as well on my craftsy shops. It's a lot of fun. That one I really still love wearing all year round. Um, we have this variety. Looks like black diamond, rose gold, and I have no idea what that is. It looks like gold, but it has, like, a gray background to it. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know. We have... I think that's a volcano. Yeah, that's gotta be a volcano. 
Um, some graphite. I just got two left of those because I've been using them. Some ultra blues, which are super shiny and silky and opaly. Um, um, some crystals, which are kind of they're okay. They're good to put as a like focal when you have a bunch of color around it, and it's a nice contrast. What else we've got? These! I don't remember what these are. I thought these were powder dye shine. Oh, poopy. I don't remember what these are. Because I don't label shit. Alright. So they're greeny, purple, pink, purple. That's what color these are. Um, some smoky mauve, because that's a pretty color. It's a very subtle, very light purple. Um, we have... This is, I think, a scarabaeus. Yeah, that's a scarabaeus. Green, if it'll focus. There we go. Scarabaeus green, which is very monochrome compared to, like, the scarabs, which has a little bit of purple and blue into it. This one is just, like, green. A matte crystal, which is kind of cool. Again, it reminds me of the um, blue sight ones. Now, I have these labeled, which I guess is a good thing, because looking at them up close, I can't tell what color they are. But one's powder green and one's powder gray. They look exactly the same to me. I don't know. But anyway, those are my 14 millimeters. And that is it for my cabochons and stuff and things. I have a bunch of pearls, which I'm not going to go too in-depth into because I had a haul that my friend... Basically, my friend gave me the majority of the pearls that I own. Um, so I will leave a link to that big haul if you guys want to check it out. I'm just going to like fast-forward through this, dump everything out, and show you guys and try to put it back in better than what I had. And finally, we go on to the utilitarian pieces themselves. So I keep all of my regular 4mm bicones and semi-weird shapes in here because I don't like organizing things, and generally I don't have too big of a collection because I buy exactly what I need to. So in here is... let's see. We'll keep this as it is. We have some pendants in here. We have some graphite. We have some round um, zeros. What are those called? Circle pendants? I don't know. I don't remember what they were called. We have some drops. Variety of shapes, tangerine, graphite, and crystal AB, and it looks like light Sam. I don't have any organization skill whatsoever, so... And here we have rounds and rondelles in a variety of shapes and colors. Um, mostly tangerine, it looks like. Why did I buy so much tangerine? I don't remember. It's a pretty color, but I don't remember why I bought them. And then on these two sections, I have check rounds in 6mm and 8mm because I use them with a lot of my bead weaving, um, right angle weave patterns that I just stuff inside, like, um, rounds. I made beaded beads that I stuff in these inside of. And underneath that, we have more of these round pendants that are really cute, and I got them on clearance at Fire Mountain. These are in Siam. They're just little, tiny circles. I don't know, this shape is... I don't know what to do with this shape, but it's cute. And I wanted them. So that's that. Column. This one, I have 4mm bicones in a gray mix, a brown mix, and then I have these... I want to say moss green, but they kind of have like a satin finish to them. These are 3mm. My friend gave me those, so I'm not too sure what color those are. 
Then I have my top drill bicones. I've got some 8 millimeters. it looks like, with one stray 6 millimeter. I got a couple in grayish and moss green, I want to say, or fern green, fern green. Yeah. And then a bunch in light Siam 4mm bicones. The camera is flipping its shit on that. Let's see. And up here we have 4mm in white mix, and then some 2.5mm because they were on clearance, I think. Yeah. Two and a half millimeters in black diamond, and then I put three millimeters in jet in here for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, that's what I've got there. Then I have these light Siam satins in here, which is kind of cool. And then I have a mix of pinks and a total metric fuck ton of opal, uh, rosewater opals, because those were on sale at Fire Mountain, and I grabbed a shit ton of them. So we've got like Indian pink, rose, and it looks like fuchsia AB2X in here with some antique pinks. And it's just my pink mix. And then we have a very sad, pathetic amount of purples, which I need more of for some reason. And let's see, we have my dark red mix. I've got Siam and or yeah, Siam and Burgundy. I think. Burgundy was the... or Garnet? Garnet. Yeah, Garnet, and I think there's a couple of Burgundy in there. Those colors, like, one of those need to retire, because they're very similar. We don't need that many. We need more purples, I think. I don't know. And then my yellow and orange mix. We've got some citrines, some jonquils, some fire opals. The last of my fire opals, which makes me sad, because that's one of my favorites. So... And then my green mix, which is emerald, and a lot of palace green opals, because... I don't know why, I think they retired that color, but I found a shit ton of them in my local craft stores, and they really just wanted to get rid of them, so I'm like, I'll just scoop these up. There's some olivines in there. Uh, yeah. My blue mix, which is also pathetically small and needs more of. I think I have some Capri Blue two X's. We've got denim blues, some Montanas, sapphires. Uh, that's about it, I think. And then we have my oddly shaped bicone mixes in five millimeter and there's one stray top drill, top drill in here. There's a couple of eight millimeters in here. There's five millimeters in here and sixes, which I may or may not have just repeated myself. But yeah. Weird shaped bicones. Those are some weird shapes in here. I got an asshole of these clovers because I thought they were the cutest thing ever. And yeah, so I have that. These cute little clovers. Which are, again, hard to use. Um, I have a bunch of these stars which I used on my Navi pendants. My fairy charm things, which are really cute. And I'm running low on those. I have these helix beads, which I have yet to find a purpose for, but they were cute and they were on sale. Um, I have them in purple velvet and peridot. I think peridot. So they're just weird, twisty things that are kind of, I guess, interchange. They're a little large. You can't really interchange them with uh, bicones. You can probably interchange them with rounds, though. And then a clusterfuck of random shapes that I've collected. I've got a couple of cubes. I've got these weird pendanty things. I've got flowers. I've got butterflies. I've got diagonal cubes. I've got a rondelle. I've got these leaf pendants, which are really cute. And I think I'm actually going to move those to another one of these things, because I have room to do so. Uh, yes, some margarita pendants, which are not pendants, beads. Which, those are probably one of the most difficult beads to work with. Or use, or just find purpose without making it too dysfunctional. And then, let's see, more of these... What are these? What the hell are these? They look like Aaronites with the satin finish? Maybe? I don't know. They're bicones. Four millimeter. They're pretty. And then we have... The clusterfuck of three millimeter beads that are not jet. 
And I just threw them all in there. Because I didn't have room to expand. And then more top drills? You can tell I like top drills. Those are, I think, Providence Lavender. I got some sunshine. A jet in there. Two jets in there. And a tangerine. Those are back from my koi fish project. Another metric fuck ton of rosewater opal. Because I couldn't fit it in one container. I have some six millimeter beads in I think rose? light rose. I think I want to say light rose. Yeah, light rose. I'm gonna say maybe because now that I'm looking at these, these look like light rose. Uh, yeah, I think these are light rose two and a half millimeters. Again, these are like the Fire Mountain specials. But yes, that is the entirety. Of my Swarovski collection, with the exception of anything that's already in projects or um, works in progress, things like that. So, that's the extent of it. And if you feel like, be sure to share with me your collections, because I'd love to see what you guys got. Come and join me at the Facebook group. I will leave a link down below so you guys can join in and show off your Swarovski collections. Uh, because I would also like to see what your tastes are like. You can kind of judge what kind of tastes I have, depending on my collection and what shiny things that I have. But, uh, yeah, that that's that's the extent of it, so... I think that will do it. Be sure to uh, join us on Skillshare as well. I've been updating some classes. I'm working on one more for this month. I think we're going to have another one in October. Another set in October, anyway. So, I will leave all appropriate links down below. Come and join, come and share, and talk, and all sorts of fun jewelry things. I'm going to go now and edit this gargantuan piece because it's so long and I've been talking for 45 minutes. Holy crap. Anyway, that'll do it for me. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And of course, if there's anything I need to be trying out right now, feel free to leave me a comment down below. And I will see you next time.